uh, when I have guys of your caliber on, uh, because I love giving you, asking this question. If it was up to you, name your next three opponents. If it's up to me, um, if it's up to me, Manny Pacquiao, Danny, excuse me, uh, Terrence Crawford, and then more than likely Earl Spence Jr. I think if it was up to me, it would be Manny Pacquiao, Terrence Crawford, Earl Spence Jr. And, and tell me why, whether it's uh, you, whether it's Terrence Crawford we've had on the show, whether it's Errol Spence who we've had on the show, why everyone throws out Manny Pacquiao. Well, you, that's the first name you say. For me, it's it's a multiple reasons. I think the number one reason is I. Hello, 404 Boxing. All right, y'all. So Sean Porter has uh, come out and said that he did not like the thought of Bob Arum offering him a million dollars to fight Bud Crawford and basically told him if he's thinking about offering him a million dollars for a fight, don't bother, don't don't disrespect him like that. That he feels like he's worth more than a million dollars in a Bud fight is worth more than a million dollars. Um, all of that said, I don't know how much money any of these guys make for any fights other than what's publicized. I do know that when our uh, Porter fought Spence and there was a pay-per-view fight, what was in the paper or what was in the um, the headlines or the story, excuse me, I'm old school, so I still read newspapers. But um, <laughs> what was in the headline was that um, that was Porter's highest payday. Two million dollars, but we always hear that PVC fighters make more than what's reported. So who knows how much all uh, these guys make? Um, and then neither do I. I really care. I mean, I just want if, if these guys are gonna fight, I want the fighters to be compensated accordingly because the money has to go somewhere. It might as well go to the fighters. Um, as for Sean Porter, it's it's already been well documented or well noted that his first choice is Manny Pacquiao and then he said after that it's Spence and Bud and he you know not necessarily saying which one he wants to fight in which order but um, basically from the way I interpret it is that he wanted Pacquiao he can't get Pacquiao then he wants to Spence rematch for two belts if he can't get that he wants Bud or he wants to fight all three in that order um you know <laughs> Sean Porter says he's the mandatory for the WBC, IBL, and the WBO. Um, so if that's the case and he's telling his dad that he wants to find out from Al what he needs to do to um, activate these mandatories so he can try to force one of these guys to fight him, um, he will be making more than a, a million dollars as long as the fight, um, the, the entire purse of the fight is... Um, is decent because he'll, he'll with uh, one sanctioning body, he'll get like uh, 25 percent split, the other maybe 35, and other you know. So who knows? But I don't think that um, versus Spence, he'll be in a situation where he'll have to get a purse split. I think um, both guys being PBC fighters, um, that that'll be taken care of. They'll negotiate a, a, a rate that they can agree upon, and they'll get the fight made if that's the case. With Manny Pacquiao, um, I think. Maybe the same thing happens uh, with Crawford. Who knows how it's going to play out? Like I said, for me, I'm not really that concerned about who's getting what. Like I said, I just I want just want these guys to get their just due as fighters because they're the ones putting their life on the line when they get in the ring, um, and and the promoters and all these other people. You know, they're they're not the ones actually taking these punches. So I do want these guys to be well compensated, but I'm not going him haul back and forth about who needs to get what or who deserves what because it's not my place to say. Um, and I'm going to leave it at that. Elo 404 Box. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.